All right, welcome back everybody here in Twitch and also on YouTube for uh, Bant Flash. This is not really a, a Flash deck per se. I'm, I'm calling it that just because Bant Midrange kind of, kind of sounds a little boring and to kind of differentiate it. it, differentiate it. Um, but we do have like some Flash stuff with Angel of Grace, Frilled Mystic, Depose, Seal Away, um, you know, Sell the Wreckage. So, you know, we will want to play it instant speed some, but um, hey, what's up, Moxie? Or Mox 8i. Let's go with that. Thanks, Mox. Being our first sub of the day there. Um, yeah, so I've played this deck before as like just kind of called Bant Midrange. And yeah, we played it with Deputy of Detention last time, and I was pretty happy with the card. Um, I think that I uh, underrated this card in general uh, during the set review. I've been uh, more happy with it, especially with how Hydroid Crisis and Wild Growth Walker are big parts of the format. Those are awesome hits for the Deputy of Detention. So um, I think we're going to kind of get on into it. The other thing is I, I put a Mass Manipulation in the sideboard uh, for the Soul Tie matchup to take their stuff. Um, yeah, that's it's going to be kind of difficult to cast that without Incubation Druid, but with Incubation Druid, uh, it shouldn't be too hard, so... Borderin, getting on that two-month streak also. Thank you so much, Borderin. All right, let's try Traditional Constructed with Bant Flash. Hey, Eisenf, day's going really good. Really good. Mox says, I really enjoy your series of playing all the decks. What do you think are the two most strong you've played so far, and which of them could be good and best of one as well? I would probably say Mardu Angels. Uh, that'd be like the one that's been really strong that we've we've had really good results with it and i think it could be pretty good in best of one when there's um a lot of aggro uh i think it's it's pretty good in that matchup um you may you know you, best of one's kind of a different format so you have to tune your deck a little bit for best of one so you know you probably want to put like some deafening clarions in the main deck to help out there but um that one would certainly have a good amount of potential um Besides that um for another one uh I walked into that should've just done that during their upkeep. Anyway, make them tap that land. Yeah, that was my mistake. All right, yep, time to win some games though. Um, another one. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where I'd go with the other one. All right, looking forward to the Jun Midrange deck. I've got mine tuned right now for the current decks you encounter on Best of Three Arena. So interested to see the build. Okay. Yeah, so here's here. I'll go and show you what we, what we have here. Um, we had, there's the 60. We're going to build this, the um, other two. We're going to build the sideboard, sorry. We're going to build the sideboard together. Um... messed up with that spell pierce but it turns out it wouldn't really matter for what's happened so far man hey Sidracha. Well, I did not play this game very well. Our opponent had had all the stuff.
Yeah, we're warming up. I... I don't know, I just wasn't thinking too much on that, that game. I was kind of just playing on autopilot. There. Certainly cost me. Yeah, I did not play that one too well. Alright, let's get some more removal in here. Um... I feel like we have a lot of good things. Um, kind of go with this 60. Yeah, it's a mono white Judith is a mono white deck that splashes for Judith. It's like mono white aggro. All right, Hawkeye, it's time to, time to get ready for our next game. Um, this isn't the, the best hand that uh, we could have. Not, you know, just not a whole lot of interaction besides these Vivians, but I'm not going to be shipping the four mana hand with having the mana creature on turn two. We just hope to draw spells, not lands. We don't want to draw any more lands. Hey, kitties. Uh, I guess it's technically not a land. What are you doing? Just throwing a pen on the ground. If I like this pen. So if they play Enigma Drake, I'll play Vivian. If they don't play Enigma Drake, I'm not going to play Vivian. I'm just going to activate Incubation Druid. Yeah, so like, I don't want to throw a Vivian into a Spell Pierce. Now do I play Vivian or Teferi? Probably just Vivian. Y'all think Teferi? Vivian's tick up is better than Teferi's tick up. Does the land first really matter? I mean, I'm tapping the Incubation Druid. I mean, that, I can't get Spell Pierced. I mean, they could they get Spell Pierced if I have two mana. Yeah, we have we have two for the Pierce. So I so I don't have to like shock, you know, because these are both shock lands. So I, I can kind of see what I get with this Vivian. So I know if I need to to shock in or not. Wild and you can't stop nature. Hmm. Kind of like all these cards. Yeah, we could pay two life to have the option to attack. Um, I don't think we need to trade two life for three life, though, with us having these Planeswalkers. We're probably in a really good spot to win late games with them.
Sometimes restoration means retribution. I can no longer All right, stand so we got the spell pierce watch. paid for. All right, going to a game three. I'll say, hey, boot. Good job, incubation druid, Make, making sure the uh, spell pierce didn't do anything this time. They got us real good at the spell pierces last time. I need to play around Spell Pierce better this third game than what I did the first one. Kalua King, hey. Attack! I like my land war elf. And again, I don't think I want to, um, I don't want to, you know, I could pay two life to attack them for one. That's just not a trade I really want to make. <laughs> That's a good question. Hawkeye, why don't you wear a tie? No lands for the opponent. That's not good for them. I hold that thought. I should get him a small tie. Just a little one. Like a business cat. <laughs> a little business cat. Keep up the pace. I know. Um, one, two, three, four. He's at six right now. We need to move quickly. I'm just gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go to discard if I just play another crisis on five. Hey, what's up, Dirk? Um, I could see my opponent having like disdainful stroke. I could certainly see that. So, and with like how I get to untap mana, I kind of want to just play this right away. So maybe I just play this, not flash. I know I could still have the two mana for negate. But like, you, you know, without the untapping. But now with the untapping, I can have negate and pay for a spell pierce. You 
know what? I'm not done yet. Oh, one, two, three, four. So if I... Um, I can do high dirt crisis for three and play Angel of Grace, or I can hydroid crisis for one, two, three, four, five, six. No, uh, four, and I have double negate. Yeah, the thing is, is like, all I need to do is like ultimate Teferi next turn. So like, playing a Crisis on three to even just jump block a Drake is is probably fine. Whenever if I just ultimate Teferi, we're looking real good. I'm sorry, I have to do this. Yep, sorry, opponent. I gotta do that though. One, two, three, four, five, six. They did have Disdainful Stroke, but I draw three cards. So drawing three cards means I'll exile that one, that one, and that one. <laughs> All right. The deck seems like pretty impressive. Looked pretty impressive, all those games. The first game, I just didn't I didn't sequence very well. But we kind of had all the cards. Uh, yeah, sorry, XRF. I mean, I could, I could do it before the four-color discard. I got to do the donation deck second. Um, but I kind of want to play that four-color discard. I think it's going to be kind of... It's going to be pretty janky. Oh, you've never seen Teferi ult in action? Ooh, it is. It's brutal. Alright, settle. The Wreckage should be a good card for us here. We can have Vivian already next turn, but... Um, you know, depending on... If our opponent has, like, Jade Light here, may not... We probably can't play Vivian. Hmm... Can I play Vivian here? So if my opponent has Jade Light, then it both the Wild Growth Walkers are three powers, so then Vivian's dead. So probably the answer is no. Um, so I'm just going to pass and activate this Incubation Druid. Yet ultimate with Niv in play and eight cards in the deck. Okay. So I can. Uh, whoops. They get to attack for. They get to do one point of damage because I, I accidentally. Accidentally did that too early. Needed to wait until combat. Best way to start building a collection. Been playing about a week. Um, is just kind of say, okay, so if if you want to draft and if that's something that you're interested in, um, then save your gold for drafting and uh, enter in the, the ranked drafts there with your gold. It, it is a really good way to build your collection, but not, not everybody wants to draft. So that's why I'm kind of saying that. 
Um, which I can, so I can. But besides, if you don't want to draft, just you know, getting, trying to do all your, all your things to get your gold every single day. Um, you can, and um, use that gold on packs to get wild cards to, and then kind of start building towards like a single deck that you want. Um, beasts are much more. <laughs> Get out of here. So I know they can rebuy it back with the Memorial of the Folly, but that does take up a lot of mana. That'll probably be something for later. Yeah, it's not a fast po process if you don't spend any money if you're just doing free to play. It's definitely not a, f a fast process. Defeat is a new beginning. Yeah, every every three months. Yeah, uh, approximately four four times a year. There's a new set. They do get a whole lot of lands and everything, which is awesome for their Hydroid Crisis. We'll see how many basics they actually have in their deck. You know, I'm not, I'm not sure exactly how many they'll have. I thought they'd have another four, though. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's skip to the good. Not a whole lot of people are playing that card these days. We use the cell wreck the wreckage a little too early. A carnage tyrant. So they're shocking in, they gotta have Hydroid Crisis, right? But then Hydroid Crisis is just nine. Oh, they have the Lanor off to make it ten.
no time for a break. No, not you. You. Um... I hope that two life doesn't come back to haunt me. It's certainly possible I don't need to be cast using that at all. But I just I like having the two blue here for the frilled mystic that I don't have to worry about the incubation druids to cast the frilled mystic. Yeah, Krasis will just die. It'll be a zero zero if Deputy dies. That's the thing we need to counter right there. We need to move quickly. Yeah, none of these cards matter too much that our opponent played. So yeah, I want to protect Teferi, so we can ultimate Teferi next turn. Glad they're doing that before blockers. So we have an extra blocker here just in case they had a removal spell. But I don't think they had an extra removal spell how they didn't uh, save their Carnage Tyrant the previous turn. So now basically the only thing that can... The only thing that can kill us is the Carnage Tyrant. If we get to ultimate this Teferi. You know, assuming we ultimate this Teferi here, the Carnage Tyrant's the only thing that we need to worry about. You're better with Mardu at Angels and Esper? I've lost so much already. I won't lose more. Yeah, I yeah, I certainly see that. Um I've I've had more success with Mardu Angels also, so I, I think Esper I don't have enough early game stuff. Kind of in general. Hmm. It's got to be too greedy to wait on not on ultimating to fairy, right? Oh, I can just get I can get rid of this memorial to folly before they can activate it. But then they get to activate Vivian again. I could deputy the the Vivian. Yeah, so I'm certainly gonna emblem. With each turn of the clock, 
Your reality. I can just cast a depose and draw a card. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna tap this creature, draw a card. I want to just get rid of this Memorial of Folly right now, so they can't get Carnage Tyrant back. And then, okay. Well, there we go. Um, what's your opinion on Karn versus Vraska in the four in the Soul Tide decks? I like I like uh, Vraska more. Oh, but Vraska four, the four man of Vraska. Um, I don't know. I I kind of like maybe four man of Vraska more even. I'm not super impressed with Karn in those decks. Yeah, with the little baby Vraska, the Golgari Queen. All right, so I have the Mass Manipulation in for this matchup. Uh, Spell Pierce doesn't do stuff immediately, or doesn't do stuff for a while. Basically, Karn, or what about Karn and Esper? Uh, I would not play one Karn. If you're playing Karn, you have to play two Karns because of I don't think the one Karn is is ever right to play in any deck because of how like the the tick up ability works and then exile a card with like a silver counter. I want I'd want another Karn to be able to get that card from exile if it's uh, necessary. Am I doing anything else? Like, do I want to play the bindings? I actually kind of like binding in this matchup. I used to not, but with Krasis, Krasis is certainly a good card to binding. Is Depose Deploy, is that card good? Maybe Shalai is not so good? wonder if I should maybe play some more Seal Away. I don't know exactly what I want to do with this matchup yet. Um, best of three, go to the homepage, and there's a switch to toggle that is around this area of the screen where my mouse where my mouse is. It doesn't look like a switch, but it's a switch you need to toggle to get to best of three. Um, but anyway, I don't love Karn necessarily in Esper or um, Soul Tie. It's it's okay. I don't know. I don't really know exactly how to put it into words. It's like it's fine. You know, it's not it's not bad. Uh, you know, it, it it does things. It's not bad. But it's not amazing. It's just kind of fine. When you're if you're ever behind, it doesn't do anything, which is a problem. Yeah, and it's called traditional. That's a good point. Mm. Oh, Branch Walker, Jade Light, why are you a problem? Difference between being on the play and being on the draw. If we're on the play, we could have slammed this, this Vivian on turn three. And they couldn't kill it yet. It would be looking good. So if I just pass again, they probably cast down my Incubation Druid after I spend my five mana on it. And then where am I at next turn? Kind of nowhere. Kind of like in the same spot. But they have four mana in play. I mean, another option is just Krasis for three, and that's not a good option. Krasis for three only draws one card. Yeah, James, I'm doing really, really good today. Having a good day. Just. Hmm. 
Mm. This game's not lining up for us. Every fight makes me stronger. Problem is their Vivians get to shoot down my that their Vivian gets to shoot down my Krasai. How often is Moldrotha better than Carnage Tyrant? I'd probably say like Let's do this again. Maybe five percent of the time. That'd be like a rough number, I would just kinda guess. So basically not very often. That'd be my best guess. I I do like Militia Bugler. Um, I mean, I, I like it as a card and stuff, but unfortunately I've been just really not impressed with it. Uh, you know, just other decks just go over the top of Militia Bugler so easily. Um, I want it to be kind of good, but it just hasn't been. Frilled Mystic is nice. That card's nice. Player Vivian. Like I've always I've always heard the difference that the game does not like that the opponent can't the opponent can't notice which one it just checks art. That frilled mystic was clutch. Um, one, two, three, four, six. Then I tap both of those. Yeah. All right, we found a deputy for their crisis, which is nice. Tender shoot dryad. So I can, uh, <laughs> because um, you could, it could enter the battlefield whenever you have a, a spell on the stack. Like, let's say you cast your own spell. Like, let's say I'm casting the Sixalons Binding, and my opponent has some kind of instant that flickers my Frilled Mystic. If it didn't say May, then I would have to counter my spell on the stack, um, because there, there wouldn't be another spell on the stack. Okay, you haven't seen it in a few weeks. Yeah, I think that was something that that they changed back in like December or so, or maybe like November, December. I think I think that was something they changed about like how they they track it. I think that's when it changed. Um, sorry, so three. All right, so let me count this up for Druid. Uh, five for Druid. Then I have uh, five, six, seven, eight. I did, I did a little bit of the ranked best of three ladder yesterday. There, there's just not payouts for the ranked best of three ladder. Um, and the events, you get payouts. Like, you know, you, you pay gold, you win, you win more gold. 
and a couple cards and stuff like that. So this could be finality for sure. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Six cards. I'll have to go to discard. This Hydro Crisis card is pretty good. Now, Krasis is lethal. Their plan's just finality. The Krasis is lethal. <laughs> yeah, it's certainly underrated, Krasis, for sure. Yeah, there's certain, you know, like, that's the thing about, about uh, ratings before playing the cards. Uh, it's tough, you know. I, I, you know, I was trying my best, but it's certainly going to be off on some cards. Krasis... Deputy Attention, two cards that I was lower on than I am now. Same with Sarah for the scales. A lot of other, a lot of streamers and other card games would also an MTG try really hard in the ladder to prove that they are a top player. Don't you believe in advertising effect of the ladder? Um, not really. I I know that I'm a good player and I don't know, I don't really need that. Um, yeah. I like the like how um, this format works, like with the streaming, with the different decks and everything. I think it's it's good uh, entertaining-wise for the stream. And so, yeah. This deck is good. This deck's felt pretty good. Both of those matches, for sure. Do you, drop, you like enjoy watching this format now? More? Nice. Uh, what do you think of traditional draft events over the ranked draft? So, their tr traditional event... Uh, just like how the event is, it's a lot more top heavy. Like if you're if you're like 500 uh, in your drafting, or if you're not like real confident that you're going to do good drafting, I would not recommend it because it is it is really expensive to enter. But the prizes are awesome if you do well. You get really good prizes. So I think that the better you are at drafting, or the more seasoned you are, um, the more you feel comfortable like sideboarding and stuff and drafting, then the better it is for you. Um, but like the the um, the payouts are really really good if you if you win. Aura Sonic, thank you so much for our resubbing there for the eleventh month. Eleven months already with one of my favorite shards, nonetheless. Nice. Um. Yeah, and we can yeah we can cycle between the the jank and the tier decks. That's true. Like that's that's pretty nice. Um, you know we can cycle kind of with the the ranked stuff too. But you know playing like a, a ranked format, you probably want to be playing like the the same deck all the time. I don't know. What's your opinion about best of three best guy at the moment? I, I don't I'm not sold that Jeskai offers anything that Esper doesn't I I'm not not really sold there. Any number of target players. All right, so they do need to target.
So if I have Shalai in play, they can't target. We can also just take that priest with the deputy at attention. But I'm just going to do that. I was thinking about just playing the land war elf and you know putting my putting my land in tap to play land war elf go. I think getting priests out of there is pretty important. Alright. Well now they don't have that for the Shalai. Pretty sure this should not work with, with Shalai in play. Any number of target players. Yeah, I, I think that we're good to go here as long as Shalai's in play. Usually these kind of decks that they're playing these creatures aren't going to play a lot of removal spells. So I could certainly see them not having any other removal spells. Um, I guess this is a problem though. Yeah, this is kind of a problem. If you were to seriously climb ranked constructed, what do you think would the best decks would be for that so far? I don't know. I would I'd maybe play this deck. Honestly, this would maybe be the deck I'd play. You are dead if you don't block. Am I? Don't think I am. Pretty sure I'm not dead. I'm not dead to the priest. My opponent cannot ping me. Wish shall I in play. I think our opponent thought I was dead. So they targeted themselves with priests, and so now they have to sacrifice a creature and lose two life. Any number of target players each loses two life and sacrifice a creature, so they have to sacrifice that thing. That worked out for me. Uh, so far, so good. We just beat multi Sultai Midrange pretty convincingly 2 0 last round. We'll see if they have something else to kill the Shalai. They could have like another Judith. Okay, they're just gonna coil it. Hmm. I was really hoping they couldn't kill the Shalai there. We'll go to three. Dubs block. Go down to two. Alright, opponent has five cards and a gutter bones. Really? Hmm. Melt Ward Ingus. Ignis. Deputy of Detention. Deputy of Detention can just exile this Alendra. 
And then also can block this vampire. Yeah, deputy detention would be our best draw. How about Shockland? I'm glad our opponent traded off that smell, that Ignis. If they, they just could have sat back until I played a little bit bigger creature. There's, there's really no reason for them to attack with that Ignis. Uh, it doesn't matter though. Double War Boss. Now finally put us away. They got us. All right, so let's get the extra seal away. Binding Dawnbringer. Hmm. London! Seven for 24 months. That's so many months. So many months. I don't... Yeah, Tmux, I don't play best of one myself, so I don't really have a good recommendation for you for uh, the exact mono red list to, to play there. Unfortunately. Um, we are at 65 right now, it's telling me. All right, one more sub, and we are busting open a pack. Good mass manipulation. All right, what if we do this? All right, next card. What about Knight of Autumn? The problem is, like, Knight of Autumn can gain four, but then doesn't block very well. But it, it does block a little bit. Um, <laughs> thanks, Zeroborn. Yeah, I tr even though we lost that game, I, I tried pretty hard. We came close-ish close to stabilizing. Um, so would I rather have this over Frilled Mystic? Could just be a 4-3. Four, 4-3 three. Four, three could block well. Or Teferi. Knight of Autumn or Teferi. I don't think I need the Teferi. We'll go Knight of Autumn over Teferi. I think I like the Deputy. Even though our opponent did have Lava Coil and um, Mortify. They had a couple of... Yeah. Uh, I think I st still like it as a card. Dr. Pizzerker with that tier one sub. Thank you so much for that support, Doctor. His land. All right. Five subs on the day. Cracking over the pack after this. I have some packs to crack open too because I finished a traditional draft earlier today that I had started. Um, before from like the the pre-release code um and you know the traditional draft and won all the matches so we got a good amount of packs to open for today um let's keep frilled up mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, they're probably going to play, like, some scary three-drop here. Just gutter bones? Come on. Let's open some scary three-drop. I like getting gutter bones off the battlefield, though, because it makes it harder to activate Priest uh, with it off the battlefield. All right, let's get as much mana as possible out there for this crisis. Knight of Autumn is, is a decent creature to sacrifice to Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Just go crisis for five right now. Or I can activate Incubation Druid um, and deploy.
I'm gonna go with the second. Yeah, wait. Yeah, I like waiting to get some more mana with the Incubation Druid. So next turn we can Krasis for seven without drawing a land. Eight if we draw a land. I could just like do the Druid right now and just throw Knight of Autumn out there. But I kind of like having the 3-5 the to be able to block. I'll let the adapt happen. Just let the adapt happen. Oh, I didn't. I didn't add mana here first. So that after this dies, I could still cast deploy. Did I, I sack the wrong one? I thought the, the one on the right was the one that I was activating. That's a ripoff. Yeah, how was I supposed to know? I thought I really thought the one on top was the one activating. The one that was like kind of on the right. I thought the other one slid underneath it, not just went over on top of it. Man, what a terrible turn for me. Just a terrible turn. I didn't even get to deploy. That was that all just went so horrible. Oh, I clicked the left one and it targeted the right oh so i i even clicked the correct one and it sacked the wrong one man bad beats that's a bad beat Don't think I can win this. In fact, I know the answer is I cannot win this. I need to to add mana with the other one. I need to add mana. Adding mana would would have separated it. Like that was like my big mistake. I could have just tapped it like in response and, and added mana because Yep. That was my big mistake was not adding mana in response to that thing. All right, whatever. Two and one. I think we would have won that if I would have been able to cast deploy that turn and keep my, if I could have just kept the, if I could have just cast deploy and kept the creature, the correct, if I could have kept the correct O2 and had the extra mana and had the two tokens out with deploy, I think we can win that. Ugh, but we didn't. All right. 
Now we need mana. Alright, deck, we need some mana. I don't know if we're gonna win that. We didn't have any removal for that priest. Priest of the Forgotten Gods is incredibly good. Deck, you want to help out? Thank you. Yeah, we're going to be playing the John deck after this. We had a donation deck for John Midrange. Likely Krasis going here. It's either Krasis or Frilled Mystic, I would assume. Hey Rex, good morning. Go, Deputy, go! Twenty-four months is twenty-four months. Absolutely. Thanks, Yager. Yeah, they they changed how the uh, the uh, sub numbers look, so everybody got gets to do a, a uh, sub notification again. Oh, I didn't get the pack. I didn't open the pack there between games. There, I forgot about it. I was not super happy. Um So I think they want to cast down the deputy or just you know contempt or whatever. I think they want to do that my end step. So I'm going to, I'm going to try to get the damage in first before playing Shalai. So they they use the removal spell on my end step, so I can't. I couldn't just let deputy die and then just play a new deputy and take the searcher's cancer again. So it it makes sense exactly what, how our opponent played that. Like that's that's their thinking because they know about these other deputies because they just played that thought erasure. They know my hand. Um, so using stuff at sorcery speed. You know, I just. Get to let it die, play a new one. Thankfully, um, our opponent only has the three cards in their graveyard, so they don't get to flip the search for us Kanta immediately. Now I'm just going to get the Nickel Bolas out of there. So we can hit him down to nine. They need like a Ritual of Soot to kill the Deputy. Which I hope they don't have. And I'm going to keep this land in hand to discard if they kill my deputy that gets them the Nicol Bolas back. Or they just play a new Nicol Bolas.
Give me that. All right, saving this this land yet again for the same kind of thing. Yeah, Shalai Deputy is a pretty good duo. All right, Deputy's actually got it done. All right, binding in, settle out, stroke, negate, manipulation. So it sound kind of cool. I don't think Deputy is going to get it done other times, but it, it certainly worked out that game, but I don't want to count on that again. I'm going to go ahead and take that card out. Um, yeah, I'm bringing in like the other removal, and I think maybe I can trim some seal aways. Yeah. Because, you know, they're going to have even more removal to kill those things. Um, what do I think of these Llanowar Elves? Do I even want this mass manipulation? I, I don't think I do. Do I? Hmm. No. No, I don't think so. All right, so what about this? This looks fine. Knight of Autumn would be the other card that considering putting in there. Um, but didn't really see anything I wanted to take out for Knight of Autumn. Oh man, manipulation on a flipped bolus. Oh, that'd be so, so good. All right, they're down to six cards, but they're keeping their card on top. I wouldn't really mind if they used a removal spell on Land of War Elf here. Okay, good. I'm glad they didn't just have, like... Um... You know, Search for Cancer or Thought Erasure there on turn two. Anything like that. I'm glad we get to have Negate up now. Disinformation campaign. Counter it. <laughs> it's, it's that. It's a mono-white aggro deck playing Judiths. Is our opponent doing anything? Nope. I want to keep on hitting land drops. Krasis is a good card, but not a land drop. I'm running a soul type mid range in best of ones. Any pointers on what to do to deal with red? Um. Besides, like, you know, Wild Growth Walker, which is something you obviously want there, uh, things like Negate and Duress can kind of be fine in best of one, because those are good against red and... Sorry, those are good against Mono Red, and those are good against, uh, like, Turbo Fog. So maybe you want to have more of that kind of stuff, like Negate or Duress. Unfortunately, we didn't have, like, the land there to be able to go land Vivian. We just don't have land. Hmm. 
Hmm. That's a good one. Yeah, thr Thrashing Brontodon's a good one, too. Yeah, that's a good card. Matches up well against the red creatures. Can kill enchantments from Bant Nexus. That's a good card. Crimson Rum. Getting there for seven months. Thanks, Crimson. Or for three months. Seventh sub of the day. There we go. That's what I meant to say. Please don't have a counter spell as well. All right. I didn't live through hell to lose to you. Just get dive downed. Oh, this can't be a dive down, right? Nice, he got four stomping grounds today. Not gruel, then die. Could be blink. That's a good that's a good call. We've seen them have blink. They're just blinking my Lanowar off. That's not a good play. No one said restoration was painless. That's not a good play. Just blink your own creature. Play it again, make me discard. Ah, they went to Eldest Reborn. Alright, that's fair, that's fair. That's fair. Would you like to see what feel the wrath of Scala? All right, I take it back. So, uh, dang. Uh-oh. Now they get to campaign again. All right, now I regret discarding just negate over to Sainful Stroke. I guess I'm probably going to just... Well, we'll see what we have here. Balance now the Incubation comes. Druid. So if I take the land, I can just play, like, Llanowerulf and Druid. I can just take the land and I'll just Krasis for for four. I'll just discard it like Llanowar Elf. To campaign. Yeah, Jerry plays dive downs, but he's also playing like a Niv Mizzet deck. Um I don't know, this deck with like the campaigns and stuff like that I don't think is really too much of a niv mizzet centered deck. It may have like a niv mizzet in it, though. Yeah, I have two Angel of Grace. Uh, yeah, I guess I could have. That's a that's a good that's a good call. I could have. Floated mana. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I could have done that. Missed that with how fast things were playing. With The land wear off was not summoning sick at the time that they into the royal it. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Alright, 
Disdainful Stroke's just gonna go ahead and go now. Hopefully they can't surveil and put that back in their hand. This campaign has certainly got them back in this match. I want to be able to kill that campaign with Vivian. Could have just not played that. <laughs> uh, the campaign's back. All right, let's look for a frilled mystic. Can you find me a frilled mystic? The Vivian. wilds are my shield. Land, got it. All right. Um, six, seven. All right, find the, found the Frilled Mystic. No, I haven't found a home for Kaya yet. Hey, two nails. No, I haven't, haven't found one yet. I'm pretty sad about how... how Kaya is. I wish Kaya was better. Come to me. We're playing against Grixis control right now. So I have Angel of Grace and Frilled Mystic both available here. The opponent kind of ran out of cards. Yeah, go ahead, Thunder Pig. All right, three and one. And let's crack open a pack. Um, from getting to five subs a little bit ago. All right, so we do not want any rares. Rares are just 20 gems. So let's see if we get a Mythic. Mythic. Ooh, looks like it's a Mythic. Could be a wild card also. It's one of those two. It's not gems, otherwise it would have just gave us gems right away. So, perfect. Hey, rare wild card. I'll take it. Good pack. Good first pack of the day. The best rare. We get to save that for the next set. I'm already stockpiling those. So we'll be ready to go. Already stockpiling them for the next set. All right, three and one. I've been liking this deck though, I really have. It's, it's felt strong. This. This is kind of a little bit of a sketchy keep, though. It's a, a real slow one. Um, but it looks like we're playing against the control type deck. We need to just hit some land drops here, especially another blue mana, of course, for these Frilled Mystics. But the Frilled Mystics are uh, are good cards, and they're, they're going to be pretty vital to us winning this game. So let's get another a blue source, then we can just kind of keep the Mystics up, hit land drops. Hmm. Four of a kind. That's that's really bad for us. Their opponent got a threat down underneath the Frilled Mystic. And, of course, that we haven't drawn another blue source yet. Hmm. Yeah, this says Cant is a problem. Because now that they have Searcher's Cant, they can just sit back and not do anything.
I think they should take Krasis here. Which they did. Shalai's in a little late. They've already used a couple Thought Erasures. They can't Thought Erasure us anymore, at least. Ugh. I'm in hurry. All right, blue mana, blue mana. No more games. Man, if we had blue mana, we would be in a good spot. But we don't. Keep up the pace. Yeah, we kept the two frilled mystic hands, and then we drew two more. No, maybe I, I might have kept three. I don't remember. No, we kept two. Hey, Glaive. All right, so seal away, settle are the first things out. Deputy detention doesn't do a whole lot for us either. So if I take out all of those cards, I can bring in strokes, negates. I don't know, am I bringing in all these Knight of Autumns then? Play this mass manipulation. It's not really good against their discard stuff. Hmm. I guess I'm just playing some bindings. Yeah, I can play some bindings. All right, well, that, that game didn't work out. Much better. We have multiple blue sources, and we have an incubation druid. What does deploy do against control? It makes just instant speed two one ones can be just annoying for control to deal with. Can just peck away at them. Um, you know, they don't want to use like a single removal spell on a single one one uh, kind of thing. But it, it's just another thing that we get to play at instant speed, so we can we can have a card like Frilled Mystic available towards end step, and then if we don't need it, we can just put it. We can. Uh, deploy a couple one ones. Interesting. Kind of surprised they took Shalai over Krasis here. So Krasis could just draw a card. Like if I just played Krasis right now, it would draw a card. And I guess they didn't mind that too much. Let's use the land they know about. Yeah, countering Ascanta is definitely big. They just ran it out into the counter spell. So they don't they don't have any mana. Oh wow. That's bad for me. That would have been a great time to draw a Planeswalker. So 
least we have an answer to Teferi. Boom. All right, now let's draw our own Teferi or Vivian or Frilled Mystic or Llanowar Elf. All right, Spell Pierce could do something. I can counter Teferi. Okay, you're going to pick another deck? All right, Matthew. Well, dang. Teferi! Yeah. I am not. Let's skip to we the found a planeswalker. Ooh, that's a good one. Boom. How's it feel to get all your stuff countered, control player? Doesn't feel so good, does it? You know what? I'm not done yet. Teferi should be called Teferi the Nefarious when he turns evil someday. Because it rhymes. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, you're right. It sort of rhymes. Teferi the Nefarious. I could see playing Knight of Autumn instead of Shalai. I don't I don't love Shalai in this matchup. Basically Shalai can protect our planeswalkers from a contempt, that's about it, but usually we won't have like both on the battlefield at the same time. Yeah, I'll do one and one. I like how Knight of Autumn can destroy Search for Escanta. They usually only play two Escantas though. You hit Diamond 1 finally. Way to go, Pacemaker. Good job. He's on vacation, he's to ferry the furry. Hey, what's up, Hawkeye? Okay. The lands are just like the best thing for us to draw here because uh, we're kind of going to like the who has to move to discard first phase of the control or like of, of like this matchup. Our opponent's at seven cards in hand. So now, like, if they miss this land again, they have to go to discard. So yeah, we just want to draw lands. They discarded a Kaya's Wrath. One, two, three, four, five. Five and two. So two more lands. We can play a Planeswalker plus half frilled Mystic still. One more land. Down, 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 down. 
So Disdainful Stroke kind of works a little better. But it doesn't put a body on the battlefield. Kind of want the, bod the body on the battlefield. Perfect. Deploy is perfect. That's something we can play on their end step. Just make a couple 1-1s. One perfect card here. Another good one. Unfortunately, because of the, the basic planes, I don't get to have double mist, frilled mystic available. I think that I I think our opponent has a negate. We need land. I think we're doing okay. So would I rather have Vivian or Teferi on the battlefield? I guess Teferi. I know Vivian's tick up is kind of better for me than Teferi's tick up. Hold that thought. I'm just going with the Teferi since we have two though. That's that's like basically my thinking behind playing the Teferi because we have a second. Now we can get them both on the battlefield. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Hmm. All right, we got a bunch of lands on the bottom now. Good job, Vivian. Way to clear out all those lands. Wow. How many lands in a row was that? Because we drew two lands last turn. And then a land, so that's three. And then four in a row with Vivian. So that's seven. And then we ticked up and found another land, eight. That was eight lands in a row there. But it's all good. All right, four and one. Final boss time. This deck feels pretty good. This deck feels really strong. I like it. Are we pack time? No, not not pack time yet. All right. Let's get final boss music. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. 
All right, let's go, Bant. Bant Flash. Yep, no continues this time. We've already used our one continue. Oh, sorry, Hawkeye... Hawkeye went... He went away. I don't know where he went. We lost to Mardu Aristocrats. Mardu Aggro. We had, like, a glitch happen in game two that... Like, we were a little behind, but, like, the glitch just made us, like, lose the game on the spot, basically. 11? I've never played 11. Never played Final Fantasy 11. 7 through 10 were my wheelhouse. Um, yeah, it looked really similar to my version. They, they had white, uh... The only white card that I can remember that them playing was a hunted witness. Okay. Come here. Come here. Hey, buddy. Here we go. I'm pet Hawkeye. I'm keeping my hand. My hand's great. My deck's great. Legion's landing. They had a Legion's landing. That's true. Yep. By playing Forest, I don't get to have Glacial Fortress next turn, so I won't be able to seal away. Uh, Soul Tie is the final boss. It's a fitting final boss. <laughs> Hawkeye doesn't like other cats. That's the thing about him. He... Uh, he likes me, but doesn't like other other cats or anybody else, basically. This was Teferi. We could play Teferi here and untap these two lands for seal away. The problem playing Vivian is that they have Jade Light Ranger, then Vivian dies. I'm just going to pass. It's really tough to float mana, yeah, or a Sonic. Like, you have to... It's it's tough. You have to, like, have your stops out there. So our opponent's just going to use a removal spell on Incubation Druid, I guess? At least that takes up my opponent's turn. Ooh, got to gets assassins trophied. That's pretty nice. And we'll just go to the next song. Okay. Why are you throwing that pen on the ground? I like that pen. Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, detention... Deputy of Detention looks really good here, but... With them not playing the Jade Light Ranger first, I, I don't think they're just going to have a Jade Light Ranger. Let's see if meet my newest friend. So I think we're just kind of safe to... Um, play the Vivian. What? I was just betting you. Here, get your butt off the screen. Let's tear this. Come to me. Julian. So I need another white source. Oh, I should have. Gra I should have grabbed white source then. If I want to, if I want to like deputy attention the Vivian. Oh, there's a white source. 
see if I get another deputy Balance at attention. Comes. Crisis in July. Hmm. Like, I could technically, I could just go seal away, seal away on both of these, and then deputy take the Vivian. I'm thinking about doing that. I don't want them to just keep activating Vivian. No, if I go deputy into Shalai. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. Like, if I. I don't really have a great that thing to do with deputy now. into Shalai. If I deputy the, the wild growth walkers and then Shalai, Vivian just kills the Shalai, because Vivian will still be in play. If the I deputy Vivian shield. into Shalai. Okay, fine. Um, then they'll have the wild growth walkers. They'll have both wild growth walkers and jade light them, and I can't really block them. So, okay, just grab frilled mystic. If I want to frilled mystic, okay, I'm not going to frilled mystic for this turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'd only be able to go crisis for two. Uh, Johnny's pride mate and a Johnny welcome. No one BC knows the wilds easy like I combo. do. Oh, a Johnny's pride mate and Johnny's welcome because easy combo. It's it's okay. I mean, it's something you can do. Um, it's you know like, kind of good in like beginning decks and stuff. It's it's not that good in uh, in standard. Um, a Johnny's Welcome is just not worth a card. Like, even though you get to put some counters on a Pride Mate whenever a Pride Mate's around, it's just not, it's not worth an entire card. Draw and fire. That ability of just, of gaining some life. Now we're getting started. You can't stop nature. All right, and now we got Frilled Mystic still available. Thunder Army, four months. Thanks, Thunder Army. Thanks for that continued patronage. Two of those. Eight subs on the day, and I guess we're going backwards here. We're at 69 right now. Yeah, I'm using the the Land War Elf that um, not you. I'm using the Land War Elf um, that was the holiday promo. That they were a, a holiday popper event. And yeah, I'll trade. I'll trade the wild growth walker for a land war elf and a frilled mystic at this point. I think that's a the fine trade. The wilds are my shield.
Man, the ability to keep finding all these frilled mystic is really frilled mystics is really nice. Just have so many cards. All right, last time all I did in this matchup was bring in this mass manipulation and take out the spell pierce. And I think that's all I want to do again. Oh, no, 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 I brought in the bindings. Uh, bindings are coming in. What did I take out for bindings? Remember I brought those in. I think I took out, oh, yeah, I took out the deploys for bindings. I do kind of like seal away, though, too, in this matchup. Hmm. If I'm playing seal away, now what am I cutting? No, Deputy doesn't come out of this matchup because of um, them having Krasis and Wild Growth Walker are good, good cards to Deputy. Because um, even if they, like... You know, like you just got to have enough answers for Wild Growth Walker. Maybe I don't have this extra seal away in. Curve looks kind of high. It's basically, everything costs four or more. Do I want to trim some of these angels? I trim an angel of grace for a seal away. Stainful stroke's not bad. I don't know if I can fit it in though. Was our opponent even blue now that I think about it? Did we even see blue lands? Or are they just straight up Golgari? Because if they're no blue, then I probably need to change what I'm doing here. I probably do want to take out Deputy if it's no blue. Yeah, I played a uh, Bant list with Hero. Or no. Did it have Hero? No, it didn't have Hero. So I guess I guess no, I have not played a, a Bant list with Hero in March. I played Bant tokens, but it didn't have Hero in it. So I so basically the deputy is awesome against the crisis list because crisis and and wild growth walker you don't really care if they get them back and that's that's the thing about enchantment removal, it it would be kind of bad but the fact that you just get crisis and they don't get it back and then wild growth walker how you reset it to be a one three it's really not a big deal if they get it back, kind of thing. Um, so the value of the enchantment removal is has gone up because of that. Um, but with, if they're not, if they're not blue and they, that means they don't have crisis, then I should probably be taking out the deputies and playing disdainful stroke. Well, it looks like they're blue. Knew it the whole time. We got beat up in the ranked, uh, queue. We faced Esper like three out of the first four matches, Esper Control. And my deck was not very good against Esper Control and we just lost all those. If they're not keeping that Vivian, that means they're concerned about mana. So I think I'm going to just take this Land War Elf right here. That's got to be their only other land, right? Because if, if they had more lands in hand, they would just keep the Vivian, right? Vivian's an awesome card.
I feel like that makes sense. They could already have a Vivian. I mean, if it was me, I would take a second Vivian. Just because if something happens to the first, you have another. We did at least slow him down if they do have the other Vivian. So now we can Frilled Mystic. Fifth mana. Don't love countering that thing, but we have the deputy deputy of detention anyway, in case there is a result, Vivian, and we need to protect our ourselves. I could just deputy these two land war elves. I kind of like that. Oh, I cannot deputy and July, unfortunately. Fortunately, they get a turn to use cast down or whatever. One Knight of Autumn and one Hinterland Harbor. Well, you can just try replacing the Hinterland Harbor with a, you know, a different land. Um, you know, just play like a Glacial Fortress or something. Uh, maybe you do, maybe you do that, and then instead of the basic plains, play another basic forest. You know, just kind of smudge it a little bit. And then, yeah, you can play you can play whatever else instead of Night of Autumn. I guess probably probably a Sun Petal is better than a, a Glacial. I think you probably need the green. But you can kind of kind of switch two lands, you know. Like, I'm not sure if that. I'm, I'm kind of not sure if we need the, this basic planes in the deck um, because of Frilled Mystic anyway. You're welcome. Um, start getting our creatures out of finality range. Three, four, five, six. I have like three mana plus. Probably just going to activate Shalai here. Um, I want to get Shalai out of finality range. And, you know, getting Deputy out of there too would be nice. Could also just flash in the Angel of Grace though and then untap and do that. And start bashing in with the Angel of Grace. I don't know. We're, we're looking okay here. We're looking pretty good. We'll see what our opponent's cards are. We do not want to see Vivian. Um, if our opponent does have Vivian tilt, then we're definitely playing Angel of Grace to be able to pressure the Vivian. I've lost so much already. I Penumbra on that eighth month streak. Hey Penumbra. 
This is nothing. And we get to eat a Hydro Crisis. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Some good, good cards. Not many lands there. Not dead. We don't don't yet. get a land drop, but that mass manipulation's looking kind of good. I've been playing Abzan Midrange with Angel of Grace, and she's been really good for me. Yeah, Angel of Grace is just a, a solid card. I like it. I like it quite a bit. Um, makes a lot of your other cards better. You know, it makes like your Frilled Mystic better. Um, and so on, so, yeah, I've been pretty happy with it. There we go. Another 2-0 win over Sultai. Awesome. So 5-1 overall. I was really impressed with this, with the banned flash deck here. Really, really, really impressed with it. Final boss defeated. 2,100 gold and 40 gems. What do you think is a good card for a sideboard for Esper Control to improve the Soul Time matchup? Yeah, Hostage Taker is a good one. Um, you can also... Honestly, you may be able to just... I wonder if, if you're Esper Control, if you can just Unmoored Ego Krasis... And just kind of win there after that. I guess that may be a possibility. Um, I'm not ready to say deception. I'm not ready to say this deck is better than Sultai because you know it needs a lot more more practice and everything, a lot more reps. But um, yeah, I, I I really liked this deck though. I liked playing it. It was. Fun deck to play. It felt really strong. Um, yeah, I like this list. So, um, yeah, we'll have to try to play this again. You know, that match that we lost kind of felt a little bit like a fluke uh, for, for what happened there. Um, but pretty good. Beat Esper Control, beat Sultai a couple of times. I think we might have beat Esper Control twice. I don't remember what our first match was. I don't remember. But there we go. All right. If you're watching this later on on YouTube, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll be doing another 12-hour uh, stream whenever we get to 1,500 followers on the YouTube channel. You can put it, the link here in chat. You can check it out on YouTube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. Um, I guess here's a question. What do you think about using two absorb in the deck? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't think you really need absorb. Um, I, I really liked Four Deputy. I liked the Deputy a whole lot. I think I think Deputy is pretty good, especially with Vivian. Um, yeah, I th I think if you like if you play Absorb, that means like that just puts more spells in the deck, where you probably have to cut creatures for Absorb. Or, I don't know, maybe cut some of these other spells. I I I don't think so. Like I, that wasn't a card that I was thinking like that whole time of man. I wish I had Absorb. Maybe I frilled Mystic. It's just one more mana, but you can find it with Vivian. Incubation Druid is awesome. That this card was like maybe our like this was one of our MVPs here. Um, the the huge amount of mana like it you know fixes our mana with the three colors and the huge amount of mana it produced for Crasis was was just big time. We just got to go way over the top of people early um, and it was a good blocker at being a three five. That was pretty important um, early with being the, the good blockers. Incubation Druid was insane for us. I I would play more than four if I could, but we can only play four so. Is Thief of Sanity better than Midnight Reaper and Sultai? I think in the sideboard, Thief of Sanity is better. Main deck, Midnight Reaper is better. All right. So, yeah. So, uh, anyway, back on YouTube. I will, uh, I'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching.